Hi guys, this is the 100 day project, the series where I do a small craft project every day for 100 days in a row. So even if you only have 30 minutes a day to spend crafting, these videos are perfect for you. So I am hoping they will inspire you and motivate you and maybe you can even craft along with me. So welcome, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Guys, today I have a super fun, quick, easy project for you um, that anyone can join in. If you're a beginner, this is perfect for you. If you just started paper crafting or junk journaling, this is like a perfect project. Anyone can join in. It is really relaxing. I really, really like it. Let me show you. Now, I already put one in my journal because I wanted to show you how you are going to use it. I have no clue what I'm calling this. It's like a snippet strip. It's a snippet strip, but it's actually like um, a page border decoration. It is not a pocket. It is not a tuck spot. You can have it as a tuck spot, but I did not intend it to be. It is just some beautiful decoration on the edge of your page. Um, on a page that is otherwise sort of boring. Now this page would be perfect for the journaling on and maybe you can have a nice picture here or, or what have you. But other than that, the page was actually sort of no, boring. So I made a nice sort of strippy snippets, collage, scraps, what have you. <laughs> Just to sort of decorate it and to use up your bits and bobs that you don't use, your small scraps. Anything you can find. You can put anything on here. You can, I think you can even add a button or a bit of lace or fabric or, you know, everything. So let me show you um, the supplies that I'm using today and how we can make one, two, three or a gazillion. Let's go. I'm using, of course, scraps. And most of the scraps will be like small ones, like smaller ones, really tiny ones. And some bits and bobs. You can have bigger scraps and just, you know, tear off some pieces here and there. So scrappy, scrappy bits. And then um, I am using less loved scrapbook paper like this. Um, that's it for the paper. Now for uh, the tools, uh, you can use art glitter glue, glue stick. I am using collage medium matte from uh, Ranger because I just want to try it out and I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, so glue, scissors or a paper cutter. And that's basically it. That's basically it. Now, um, let me show you how I'm going to go about it. Uh, but you can do it in a different way than I'm doing. But, you know, let me tell you. This strip I made specifically for this journal. So I had already had the measurement. Yeah. I just decided I wanted to have it sort of yay uh, white. You can also have it yay white or smaller. Whatever you want. So I just measured a strip. And this strip was an inch. Um, and then I started collaging on it. But let's say, let's just say you have no clue what you're going to use it for. In that case, uh, and that's what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take off a strip of this um, 12 by 12. So it is actually 12 inches long. And I'm going to do it an inch wide again. Yeah. Or maybe a bit more. Uh, an inch and a quarter. Doesn't really matter, lobbies. So yeah, so you can have it in a taller journal, yeah, or a smaller journal and um, make two out of them. And even if you're left with a, a tiny bit, you can always use this as a piece of decoration on a pocket, an envelope or, or what have you. Are we going to do two? Ooh, really? Are we going to do two? Oh, apparently I am. I'm going to attempt. Yep. So I have two strippies of less loved scrapbook paper you'll be seeing these scrapbook papers a lot uh, the coming 100 days because i want to use it up all of them well <laughs> then i need another 100 days afterwards um scrappies i have my small tins with scraps these i have all sorts i have boxes and uh, smaller boxes and all sorts of but take out what you have, guys. Just take it out. 
And I'm ha I have my glue. I also have some circles that I thought I might like. Circles do look really nice on here. I am just going to start gluing. I am not even going to mind the edge um, on the top because I'm going to trim it somewhere. Just taking something out. There you go. What do I have here? This is beautiful handmade paper. I have a strippy. Just ripping it off and then putting it on here like so. Now what I did was um, I trimmed it on the edge. You don't even need to do that if you don't want to. But I trimmed mine um, on one edge. I just thought it might look nicer. Do we need something underneath? Let's put this underneath for now. So there you go. I'm just putting some glue on. Use glue stick, guys, if you don't have this. I just want to put this to the test and see how this works. I'm having it straight um, on this edge. Not necessary because you can also sort of rip it later. What is this? Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> oh, a piece of map. Love this. Yeah. So we're making another collage. Because I really love collaging. And um, it would be nice if the bottoms were very irregular. I think that will look way nicer. Oh, what's this? Cute. It's a little bit short, but we're going to have one something on the top. Oh, look at this. That is amazing. This is half a, half a label. I'm going to have this here and then put something on the top. Like... Some French, whatever. Something French. I want to have this on here, but somewhere else. Ooh. Part of a ticket. Oh, again, so relaxing, guys. This is so easy. Uh, it's probably been done. This has probably been done in some shape or form. What else do we have? This is, ooh, handwritten loveliness. And I want it to stick out on the bottom. A little bit raggedy. What else do we have? Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm not going to use it on here. I'm just going to have an, another piece of this and then put... Um, this handwritten piece on. Let's scooch it up a little bit. There you go. Yep. And then this over here. Not over the lady. Um, I have more boxes. I have more boxes, guys. Honestly, I do. I do. Let's get another box. Hello, box. What is it that you have for me? Oh, the storage sampler. I did something with this uh, last week. Um, field label. Field label. That's nice. I'm going to have field label on here. So this is all sorts. But you can ha also have this, of course, in a theme. Like, I want it to be botanical. Or, you know, it's more Tim Holtzy style or horsies. Are we going to rip this? I think I am. I have this on the bottom. Yeah. There are some straight edges now, but that's okay. Because I'm also going to sort of decorate on top of this some music paper. way too straight that's better well you do have need to have a longer piece love if you're gonna have this longer strip oops there you go some old this was a school book, I believe. Yep. 
Here we are. Ooh, look at this lovely strippy that says something. Already decorating. I want to decorate later, but I'm already decorating. Putting it on here. Like so. Yes, because we are going to decorate it. Of course we are. Like with these. What is this? It's fantastic. That's what it is. Oh, let's have a strippy of this. At the end, at the end. We're finishing with this one. There you go. And now I'm decorating. Are you? Oh, trying to. Really trying to. I'm going to put this here. So let's see if we have some smaller bits and bobs. I have a number. Number uh, 65. Putting it here. And tiny little labels. I should get out. Um, like my glue stick for this and not going straight i'm just going to go all over the place i have this one on here having it stick out on the top but that's quite all right because we're going to trim everything i have this this has all these numbers strippy of this It's upside down, but that's okay. It's a sort of upside down day today. Telephone something something. There, there. Need something here. Yep. Well, let's do it like so, huh? Do we need more? We need more. I have some odds and ends in this one. Some stamped pieces. Also something that is stamped. Mm. Put it over there. What else do we need? Something here. Do we have something sort of roundish? We have this. It's roundish enough for me. Fantastic. Um, what I think I do is, because I'm using this sort of matte collage medium, I'm going to go over it completely. This will seal it and make it matte because it says matte medium and glue everything in place. Perfectly. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to trim just the top of it. And when it's all dry or, you know, just use glue stick. <laughs> Um, this is going to be the top, so I'm going to snip this off. You don't need to, lobbies. If you're like, no, I want it to be a, like a belly band, you can use it as a belly band as well. Yeah, why not? That I am going to use it as um, a page, a page edge border thingy. See, immediately looks different. So yeah, I think I'm just going to have these um, with my master boards. With my master boards. I made another strip, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, what you can also do, guys. Yes, if you want to and if you have some. Uh, so like a like swirly thing all over it or stamp on it. Put a button on or what have you. Um, I thought about it, about sewing. Yes, and then I stopped thinking about it. <laughs> okay, let's make another one. For this next one, I'm going to use mostly digitals. 
So I am not using my collage matte medium or Mod Podge or any sort of wet glue um, because I don't have an ink yet printer. No, I don't have a laser printer. I have an ink yet pr printer, which means if this gets wet, it sort of bleeds. So that's why I'm just using glue stick for, for this one. I'm um, just taking out random bits again. Uh, I took out my tearing ruler because I really like more of a rough edge everywhere. Am I starting at the beginning again? Why not? I'm just starting at the beginning. You can also do this if you are making um, a journal in a theme with a digital kit and uh, you have lots of digitals left from from that kit. Um, what you can also do is just, you know, make this from the scrappies of the kit. I think that'll be nice. This piece is nice. this over here there you go and have this on top no that's too close together yes I'm making more scraps with these sort of larger scraps oh I love this one it's from a sort of ledger piece but a digital, as a digital. These are all sort of more regular shapes. Do we have something that's more unregular? No, well, we can make it sort of unregular, like so. Yeah, why not? I have this on first. Yep. Just some nice strippies. This is actually coffee dyed um, book page. But I do want it on here. And there you go. What else do we have? This looks like a old bank check or it is a digital over here over here oh let's do some circles yes let's do some circles because those look really really fun um over here, over here. Need something here, I know. Have a piece of this. Oops. Do you ever, if you have this, do you ever use this side? I never use this side. A bit too big. Oh, now it's not anymore. <laughs> oh, it's double sided. Don't look at the back. Kidoki. That's a bit plain, but could also be really nice. It's a big piece. Probably going to glue something on top of it. What is this? Lovely, that's what it is. Yeah, yep. Do you want another circle? Here, yep. 
all the way to the edge, all the way to the edge. Yep. There you go. Something underneath. I really love this. Uh, but I think I want to have this, like so, on the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. One more here in the corner. Be sure it's not stuck to the bottom. This is way too big. But you know, you can tear it if you want to. Um, I'm gonna end with this paper on the other side. That's not big enough. So I'm not gonna end with that paper. Apparently I'm ending with Lloyd. There you go. Another strippy. I'm going to trim it first. On this side. What's this? That's not something that's supposed to be there. There you go. Because when you trim it, it already completely looks different. already looks different let's uh, take out some bits and bobs maybe we can because i did not um collage over it maybe we could do some stamping i took out some bits and bobs that i also never use i have this box um and i made these years ago on my computer tried to do make some labels and stuff so just found this box again and i think they will work really well but you can also use you know poster stamps or other labels i'm just gonna random glue stuff on here and there i love this green here very relaxing sort of project this is oops And you can also sort of have it half of the page, right? That's two ovals next to each other. So we don't want this. But we do want this. Yes, just trim it later. Or, you know, flip it over. <laughs> Whatever you wish. Now, this is a little bit hard for me because I am used to do everything straight not like random and diagonally so this is actually sort of a a challenge for me does this one go sure it says abc Ta-da! yep don't know what do you guys think is it missing something here something here or oh, let's do this let's just do this one I'm just flipping it over yeah oh yeah stamping we can also do stamping uh of course i'm taking out this one why not but you can also get your number stamps or you know, you do you. I uh, picked brushed corduroy because I thought it might look nice. And it actually does. So I'm having it a little bit grungy. Oh, wow, we're doing grungy. Uh, brushed corduroy. I'm just going to sort of ink the edges. I'm gonna try to ink these edges, probably won't work, but I will try. Now, if you cut it shorter, then of course you need to ink the new edge again. 
actually sort of worked. Sort of works. Oh yeah, it works. Well, ta-da. So relaxing. Just, you know, scraps. Scraps, tearing, gluing, done. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't that lovely? Let's just quickly um, check how it would look on a, on a page because I think it would make more sense if you see it on a, let's say, this page. Hello page. And then have this, like so. Lovely, right? Yeah, I think so. Or, you know, like so, or on the top, or as a belly band, or whatever, lovies, whatever. Yeah, they're great. So, um, I think this is it. I made two, and that's only because uh, I only have half an hour, but I would do this for hours and hours <laughs> um i tried black soot on the on the edges to sort of ink it a little bit i'm gonna put it up real, real close it's just all sorts and this i did with a matte medium on top of it uh, which does not make it matte at all see it makes it shiny but you know it could be me it could be just me with all sorts of randomness. And I love randomness. Sometimes. Sometimes I love it. Great. And here's the other one. And uh, here's where we did some stamping. And I did not mod podge or matte medium, whatever, dupe up. I, I prefer this. It just looks more real to me. Yep. So many odds and ends and interesting stuff doesn't make any sense at all and that's the beauty of it see so so that's it i'm going to keep these um in the big encyclopedia where i also have like the master boards just keep them all together and take them out whenever you think you might need them so guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it um i think you can make some and again, guys, if you're joining the 100 day um, uh, project, uh, please use the hashtag and uh, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or send me an email or what have you. I am always so curious of what you guys make with these sort of projects. Yeah. So hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then. Bye.